हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू एप्टीट्यूड जैब ऑन द ओकेजन ऑफ नेशनल स्पोर्ट्स डे लेट सॉल्व अ सेट बेस्ड ऑन गेम्स एंड टूर्नामेंट्स दिस सेज दैट जस्ट बिफोर द एशिया कप क्रिकेट टूर्नामेंट व्हिच इज गोइंग टू स्टार्ट वेरी सून अ राउंड रॉबिन फुटबॉल टूर्नामेंट वाज प्लेड बिटवीन फोर क्रिकेट टीम्स इंडिया श्रीलंका बांग्लादेश एंड पाकिस्तान द टीम विद द हाईएस्ट नंबर ऑफ विंस वाज डिक्लेयर्ड द विनर ऑफ द टूर्नामेंट in case of a tie the team with the highest positive goal difference is the tournament champion the following information about the tournament is given and uh, the victory margin in each game ranged from 1 to 6 and each game had a different victory margin so that means the victory margins are 1 2 3 4 5 6 then each team scored at least one goal in every match then some more information is given about the teams so in this case since it's a round robin tournament and there are four teams so there will be six matches india sri lanka india bangladesh india pakistan then sri lanka bangladesh sri lanka pakistan and bangladesh pakistan okay and uh, if you look at the information uh, do we are we given any number of goals it says that uh, the number of goals scored by india total is 14 uh, sri lanka india won by 3 goal margin against bangladesh so winning margin is 3 this is winning margin this is the uh, team wise score and then we are given india scored 7 goals against pakistan so india is 7 against pakistan okay now when india makes 7 goals and it also shows that no other team scored seven or more goals in a match so seven is the highest and no other team can have seven we need to have a victory margin of six and each team is scoring at least one goal so only possible scenario for the victory margin six is 7-1 so india pakistan must have gone in 7-1 and also it says pakistan scored the same number of goals against india and bangladesh so pakistan will score one goal here as well okay now it says that uh, now india bangladesh can have different combinations india won by 3 goal margin so india can win by 4-1 india can win by 5-2 uh, or india can win by 6-3 okay three possibilities because india has to win by three goals and it says bangladesh scored a total of eight goals against india and pakistan so india plus pakistan the bangladesh total should be uh, total should be eight so if we take bangladesh one here then bangladesh pakistan becomes seven one which is not possible because no other team scored seven goals okay so this is not possible if we to take two here then bangladesh becomes 6-1 and it says bangladesh did not win by a margin of 5 now this is also false so this is also not possible okay so uh, this is 6-3 so bangladesh has to score five more uh, goals to make it total 8 okay so bangladesh pakistan is 5-1 the score line is 4 and now what we get is India Pakistan is 7-1 India Bangladesh is 6-3 so 13 goals India will score one goal against Sri Lanka okay and then we are given that the number of goals scored by Bangladesh against Pakistan was unique so we cannot have five goals in any of the matches now okay Sri Lanka won against India and lost against Bangladesh the total number of goals scored by Sri Lanka in these two matches was 4 so Sri Lanka wins against India and lost against Bangladesh so Bangladesh will win this match and Sri Lanka will win this match now total goals scored is 4 in these two matches so India versus Sri Lanka Sri Lanka is winning so Sri Lanka can win by 1 2 or Sri Lanka can win by 1 3 also so against bangladesh sri lanka can score two goals or sri lanka can score one goal depending on by how much margin 
it wins okay so if it wins by 2 1 so it has to score two more goals if it wins by 3 1 it will score one goal here okay now we know this winning margin is 6 this winning margin will be either 1 or 2 there is an information which says bangladesh did not win a margin of 5 okay so this match cannot end in a five goal margin this means this is the match which will end in a five goal margin and now what can be the score line we can have 6-1 we cannot have 7-2 because only india scored seven goals in a match so the score line for this match is 6-1 now it can be either 6-1 like sri lanka pakistan or it can be 16 like pakistan scoring 6 and sri lanka scoring 1 because we are not given any such information about this match okay now we are left with only one match this is uh, sri lanka versus bangladesh now the winning margin can be 1 or 2 okay so uh, Bangladesh scored a total of eight goals against India and Pakistan. Now Bangladesh can have uh, like can win by one goal or two goals in this, right? So we do not know the uh, total number of goals in this case because uh, this can be one or two. This can also be one or two because we are not given any information about uh, the number of goals scored by Bangladesh. okay so it could be uh like 2 3 or it can be 2 4 so that will depend on the goal scored by sri lanka in this match so let us say the winning margin is 1 here if it is 1 2 so sri lanka will score two goals if this winning margin is 1 here so let us mark it case a and case b if sri lanka is winning by a margin of 1 here so this winning margin should be 2 and sri lanka will score two goals this will be 2 4 if this case happens sri lanka win win by two goals so uh, sri lanka will score one goal here and bangladesh has to win by one goal so this will be 1 2 okay so this is case a and this is case b okay now the first question is how many by how many goals did bangladesh defeat pakistan that can be determined that it is four goals how many goals did india score against sri lanka so india against sri lanka cannot be determined it can be either uh, sorry india scores can be determined which is one we cannot determine how much sri lanka scored against india but we can determine that india scored one goal what can be the minimum number of goals scored by pakistan in the tournament now pakistan scored one goal in this match one goal in against india also and this match if we consider the minimum that is pakistan scoring one goal so pakistan score can score a minimum of three goals since we do not know the outcome of this match who is winning this match we just know that it was of 6-1 okay who scored 6 who scored 1 we do not know so taking the minimum we get 3 what was the goal difference in the match between sri lanka and bangladesh now sri lanka and bangladesh the goal difference can be 1 or 2 we cannot determine if both sri lanka and bangladesh had the same total number of goals in the tournament how many goals did bangladesh score against sri lanka now sri lanka and bangladesh have the total same total number of goals okay now what is known for sri lanka in these two matches sri lanka has a total of four goals and against pakistan it is 1 or 6 so sri lanka can have a total of 5 or 10 goals in the tournament okay so because we are given that in these two matches it is 4 okay and then we have for bangladesh we know that bangladesh has a total of 8 goals in india plus pakistan okay so 3 uh, goals here and 5 goals here so a total of 8 goals and against sri lanka it can score four goals or two goals so 8 plus 2 or 4 that is 10 or uh, 10 or 12 goals now the only possibility when they have same total number of goals is 10 so this means that bangladesh scored two goals here that is we will consider case b in this scenario 
and we will consider that Sri Lanka beats Pakistan 6-1 in order to for both of the teams to have 10 goals okay now the question is how many goals did Bangladesh score against Sri Lanka so in that scenario Bangladesh will score two goals against Sri Lanka so that Bangladesh has a total of 10 8 against these two teams and uh, 2 here and uh, then uh, this will be a winning margin of 1 and Sri Lanka will have a winning margin of 2 against India and Sri Lanka will score 6 goals against Pakistan so that both of them have same total number of goals. So this is the solution to the set and the answers to the questions.